Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. It's Monday. It is October the 3rd. It's a whole new month, Heidi. Today is National Boyfriend Day. So you should call your boyfriend and wish him a happy I really should. It's yeah. been... It's been I'm, way too long. I'm waiting. You're going to call me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm her husband. See how this works. Uh, National Techies Day today. So if you're a techie, happy techie day to you. National Child Health Day today. And National Consignment Day. Consignment's okay. kind of a cool concept where you h- let somebody else sell your stuff for you. It really is. It really is a neat idea. So it's kind of like a library, but you know, you're selling the stuff instead of just loaning it out. I don't know. Maybe it's completely different. I do have a guest. You want me to tell you who? Who is that? It's a movie star Monday, and my guest is Stacy Keach. He was uh-huh. Mike Hammer on TV. He's been in great movies like Prison Break, The Bourne Legacy, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, and many, many more. And he's been the voice of CNBC's longest-running primetime original series, American Greed, for 15 seasons now. Wow. I had a chance to watch the first episode last week, and we're going to find out what's happening for the rest of season 15 coming up. In good times and not-so-good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Early risers who remain active throughout the day tend to be more content and sharper mentally, especially in older age. Scientists at the University of Pittsburgh say uh, they found that seniors who get up early and stay busy all day, are both happier and perform better on cognitive tests in comparison to those who irregularly, like, wake up late and do, you know, little activity throughout the day. Do we need a study for this? (laughs) Researchers say their findings suggest having a regular plan, active routine, could help contribute to happiness and mental acuity. That plan could include scheduled time to meet a friend or a neighbor and just enjoying uh, sunshine and exercise or eating on a regular schedule or caring for a pet. So saying having some sort of routine will make you a happier person. And I agree. When I wake up early and stay busy throughout the day, I feel a lot sharper. Right. When when we uh, just kind of sit around and don't do anything. We have I would a lazy agree day. with that for sure. Yeah, we'll have a lazy day once in a while. And it's it's pretty cool because you're like, oh, man, I get to relax. But then the whole time I'm thinking, I got so much to do. All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50 15 one, five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know if you're a night owl, you might be at a higher risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease? Ooh, that's not good. Yikes. Night owls tend to be more sedentary, have lower aerobic fitness levels, and burn less fat at rest and while active than early birds in the study. Rutgers University is who did this. Night owls were also more likely to be insulin resistant. Early birds also tend to perform better in school and are more active throughout the day, which may partially explain why the study found that they have less risk of cardiovascular disease. So second time on the program today, we talked about how good it is to be an early bird. Yeah. So there you go. And again, uh, now this is only one time we say that it's not so good to be a night owl. If you're a night owl or if you're an early bird, we love you either way. It's not me. It's the studies doing all the talking. If you want to read the details, I have them in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Johnny Depp is dating his lawyer. It's all over the internet. I, I, there's probably nobody who didn't already know that if they're on the internet. And I don't think there's anybody who didn't no. know that was coming. Yeah, because if you watched them at the yeah. trials, it was like, okay, yeah, TMZ they're kind of... TMZ reports Depp is seeing his attorney, Joel Rich, uh, if you want to read the details. I don't really care. Uh, Brad Pitt is a big fan of Goop. 
He gushed about Gwyneth Paltrow's famous beauty brand as he discussed his own new skincare line as he talked with the folks from Vogue. Um, trying to see if it says the name of his. Da, 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 da. I don't see it in here. I'm sure it's somewhere. Uh, but he has a new skincare line. So, And our final story today. Four original Beverly Hills Cop cast members, Judge Reinhold, Paul Reiser, John Ashton, and Bronson Pinchot, are reuniting with Eddie Murphy for Beverly Hills Cop Axel Foley. I think this is really kind of a cool. It's the third sequel to the 84 action comedy classic. I hope that it's going to be a Netflix film. I hope that they, you know, don't make it just goofy, but it was such a fun it's, show. I think it looks it's like it's going to be movie. great. Yeah. And all of the original cast has come yeah. back. We which had they John Ashton have. on this program in within the last year and super nice guy. I'm excited to see how this all comes together and we'll have to make sure we have Netflix for a little bit to watch that at least. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit better credit cards.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com if you're once again dreading the thought of dragging yourself through another work week with no possible way of accompanying all the tasks on your must-do list here's something to consider being your most productive self does not necessarily mean doing more according to a new book Celeste Headley, a journalist, radio host, and author of Do Nothing, How to Break Away from Overworking, un, uh, Overdoing, and Underdelivering, says, There's only so much you can schedule into a busy day. Trying to work more ends up being counterproductive to the point that doing nothing at all is actually going to help you produce more. So to not reach that point, she, she suggests that you unnecessary you avoid any unnecessary screen time which allows your brain to rest, adding to your productivity later. That also includes minimizing the use of social media, which she calls addictive and exhausting. Can you believe she says such things? I agree with all of that, by the way. And there are times that I feel like I'm overwhelmed. And if you look at the productivity throughout the day, I'm like, well, I spent 15 minutes messing around on Facebook. And then I, <laughs> and then I, then I worked this. for two minutes. And I was on Instagram for a bit. Then I worked for five minutes. Then I was over on YouTube for 45 <laughs> minutes. All right. Hey, have you ever wondered why potato chip packages seem like they're full of air? Well, it's because they kind of are. A TikToker posted an informative video explaining why. These bags contain nitrogen. That's designed to help keep the snacks from getting crushed, and it helps retain freshness while they're being delivered. Well, I was going to say, if there wasn't some air in there to protect, the, all the bags would be smushed by the time they got to yeah, you. Yeah, it says so. there's very good reason for the packets not being filled to the top. Crisps, that's what they call them in England, right. are very fragile and get crushed very easily. Try to prevent this from happening. We put air in the packs before sealing them as a cushion for the product during transit. That does not mean the packets have to be a bit bigger than the contents, or this does mean that they have to be a bit bigger than the contents. Otherwise, that whole thing doesn't work. So I've got a link if you want to watch the video and all the details. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest today, Stacey Cage, been in several movies like Prison Break, The Bourne Legacy, and uh, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, and many, many, many more. But also extremely well known for some great TV shows like Mike Hammer, one of my favorites, Titus with Christopher Titus, and a show that he's been doing for a long time now. Season 15 just returned last week, American Greed on CNBC. Mr. Stacy Keach, welcome back to the program, sir. How are you? I'm well done. Yourself? I am fantastic. And we are back with season 15 of American Greed on CNBC. It just started last week, and it looks like 15 is going to be a great season. It really does. I'm so grateful that we're coming back on the air. And I think this year, 
the stories that we have are some of the best because, well, first of all, there's so much going on in the headlines right now. I mean, fraud, is, and there's no in degree, let's face it. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be the reason I think we've been on the air for 15 years is because there's no in degree. Absolutely. And the first episode came out last Tuesday and it showed a ton of greed. The polygamous and the biofuel baron. It's an interesting Jacob Kingston, who was the uh, CEO out of Utah. And I saw this first episode. It was absolutely fascinating. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad you. But the thing is, that it's so fascinating to me is that he, he got involved with polygamy. Uh, this group called The Order. They got busted for a $1.1 billion fraud. Well, you know, if he's driving around in this Bugatti, you got to know something's up. And the fascinating thing to me is there were four people charged, hundreds of people involved, but the rest of them apparently didn't know they were doing anything wrong. Yeah, well, this is the story a lot of people have a lot of the time. We've done like 200 episodes, and many of our episodes deal with Ponzi schemes. Yeah. And I really believe that a lot of people, when they start out, they start out with good intentions. Yeah, They don't have criminal intent. This is not everybody, but some people, really, and they just, they get caught. They get caught up. The lady who came up with this health machine that was supposed to help you with diabetes, and when she started out, I really think she wanted to help people, you know, but then she got swept aside with greed and pride, and, you know, she wanted to be the next baroness of Wall Street, and she got taken away by unfortunate vice of greed. Absolutely. We talked a little bit about the polygamist and the oil baron. That was the first episode that came out last week. What do we have in store for the rest of season 15? Yeah, well, uh, the Bitcoin, the, the crocodiles of Wall Street, this couple, they stand accused of blowing billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, which I don't really understand what cryptocurrency, how it works. I really don't. But um, that's an interesting story. And, and I think it reveals a little bit about how it works, certainly how it's distorted. I mean, how somebody can turn. One point seven million dollars into four point something billion dollars. Wow! Yeah, a story of financial infidelity. The, the, the founder of an electric vehicle company, uh, Nikola Tesla, who sold investors a, a, a bunch of lies. Uh, yeah, and the, the stories that really bother me are the ones that take advantage of people, particularly elderly people yeah. who have medical problems, doctors and drug companies who, who just fleece people without any conscience whatsoever. Those are the stories that really disturb me. Absolutely. And speaking of that, I see in uh, the show notes here that you have uh, at least one episode that talks about COVID cons, which again, very disappointing that people would con somebody during a pandemic. Yes, indeed. It certainly does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the COVID cons, it's Alex Murdow, yeah, that's a two-parter. We're talking with Stacy Keach. He is the host of CNBC's longest-running primetime original series, American Greed. Season 15 just started, and you've been there since episode one, right? I have been there, yep. In addition to American Greed, a lot of folks know you from other TV shows and movies, uh, like Mike Hammer on TV, and then one of my favorite TV shows, you were Christopher Titus's dad on his program, Titus, and the two of you just made me laugh. I love Christopher. I really do. Well, I really do appreciate you taking some time to visit with us once again. Again, our guest, Stacy Keach, and he is with American Greed on CNBC, and season 15 just kicked off last week. Stacy, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Again, our guest today has been Stacy Keach, the host of CNBC's longest-running primetime original series, American Greed, season 15 just kicked off. Last Tuesday, you can catch new episodes each Tuesday. I'll throw a link to all of the information and a link to find the first episode in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 2005, a fortune cookie company correctly foretold lottery numbers, resulting in 110 winners. An investigation found that there was no fraud involved. 
How cool would that be? That's pretty cool. Check your fortune cookie, your lucky numbers are, and you go play those and you win the lottery. <laughs> 110 people had that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Who was that, John? Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, he was afraid of the dark. That's kind of fun. Really? Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Who was that, John? The word bi-weekly has two different definitions, twice a week and once every two weeks. Okay. So, if you ever say bi-weekly, make sure you let them know if you mean twice a week or once every two weeks. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Mona Lisa was stolen. Mona Lisa, the painting, was stolen from the Louvre in 1911, which actually drew more visitors to see the empty space than the actual painting. So everybody showed up to see this is where the painting was hanging, and now it's gone. Hmm. So we could just pound a nail in the wall here at the studios and say, we had the Mona Lisa. Come look at the nail where it used to hang. <laughs> <laughs> we sure could. We could, but we won't. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. A survey found the average family sends over 10,000 texts to each other in a year. What is the number one thing they're texting about in these messages to family members? To family. Yeah. About kids. No. Dinner plans. Hey, what's for dinner? Oh, Need yeah. me to stop and grab dinner? What are we going to have for dinner? I think we've had those messages. Oh, many Sadly, times. My dinner, yeah. my dinner texts go to Heidi quite early in the day because I'm already thinking of dinner. All right. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people... People like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Spanish authorities have arrested a man who admitted to the driving offenses of about 100 people in exchange for money. He did this in order to keep their record clean. Police in Spain announced this unnamed man was advertising his services online, charging $75 to uh, 75 euros to 200 euros per point deducted from his own driver's license. And mm. business was booming. An investigation revealed the Armenian had long had his own driver's license suspended, but he continued to take the blame for others' offenses and made a profit doing it. He had confessed to committing two offenses on the same day within a half hour, but they were 500 miles apart. That's how he got caught. In over a dozen instances, he admitted to driving a speeding motorcycle, although radar traffic cameras showed it was different people, most of the time women who were on there. But it was like, oh, that was me, Your Honor. And he would get the ticket, and he would get the fine, and they would just get, you know, uh, they would get to walk without paying the fine. I guess they would pay him instead, but it wouldn't be a point on their record. I don't know. Very bizarre. That's why it's today's Weird News. Brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. There's a guy who's a big fan of films. He's watched 154 horror movies this year, and he's tweeted his eight favorites. So if you're a big fan, his name is Dan underscore draws on Twitter, but I've made it even easier. I have all of this stuff in the show notes for today. So these are the scary movies. Heidi's probably seen some of these. You have to tell me. Uh, Hell House, have you seen that, 2015? I have not. The Sadness, 2021? I have not. Sleepaway Camp, 1983? That I've seen, yes. Green Room, 2015? No. Splinter, 2008? Unfriended, 2014? That one I've seen, yeah. Sorority Row, 2019? And X, brand new, from 2022. Uh, I've got a list of all of these, and then it explains them. But we're getting into October, which means we've got Halloween at the end of this month. So there'll be people looking for scary movies. And I've got a scream queen next week for my Movie Star Monday, Dee Wallace. She's been in a lot of scary movies. She's in a new one called Nick's. 
And uh, she's going to be my guest next week for Movie Star Monday. And she was also the mom in E.T. So a bunch of great movie stuff right there. And you know what? E.T. was set at Halloween. Eh? See? Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. If you'd like to read the list, I've got it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. I got two quotes today from the same guy, Mark Twain. Mark Twain first said, uh, age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. (laughs) And Mark Twain also said, I am only human, although I regret it. (laughs) He's got some fun quotes. That is your quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. Here's the headline, Heidi. Teen's act of kindness to elderly driver at a gas station. A teenager being praised for going out of his way to help an elderly woman who was struggling at a gas station. 16-year-old Alvy Armour uh, lives in London, not London, and Leyland, England. Stopped at a gas station. And he was trying to help fill up his moped. He was getting gasoline in that. After filling up his own tank, he spotted an elderly woman who was struggling very much to put air in her tires. Okay. While I was waiting for one of my other friends next to me, uh, I saw this older lady filling up her tires, but she couldn't do it properly. I just went over and asked if I could help her. Alvy went home after helping the lady, not saying anything to anybody about what he had done, because in his mind... It was not a big deal. It was like, I just put some air in this lady's tires. How is that a big deal? But this really nice act of kindness did not go unnoticed. An eyewitness took to Facebook to praise the young man for his act of kindness. Here's what the the post said. Just fueled up at Morrison's. Three young lads on mopeds pull up for fuel. Elderly lady was at the air pump trying to put air in her tires and was struggling. One of the lads goes over and helped. All credit to that lad. Well done, pal. You're a credit to your parents and yourself. Nice one, pal. Okay. <laughs> that's that's really it. I, I just love the way it's written. And it, they spell tires, T-Y-R-E-S. I Apparently? did not know that. So huh. I know they call gas petrol, but that wasn't even in the, the, the message. But anyway, this uh, thing's making its rounds, and there's a photo now of this young man with his moped and his helmet. I think it's really cool. And the reason I bring this up, because when you look at the grand scheme of things, is this a big, huge deal? Probably not. But wouldn't it be wonderful if this type of behavior would catch on? Right. If more young people would go out of their way to be kind to elderly people? Yes, it would. I saw there was like some sort of challenge a year ago where it was like a knockout challenge. We're supposed to just go and punch a person. I remember that. That was disgusting. And there were young people punching elderly people trying to knock them out. So that went viral. Can we make this go viral? Let's make this go viral. I would much rather have positive news like this one. I've got a link to it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday.